in the land of the teenage girl. She's not splits. She's not low cut or high kicks. She's not a shake it, shake it, shake it. No. She's like a photon blur, like the head rush in a cyclotron, like the yank of rising tide. But she's not a prancing pony. She does a quantum leap in stride. She's not an extended eyelash, not a candy apple toenail, not a belly button stud. No, she's like a snowflake fractal, like fire coral with stinging tentacles, like carpet shock. But she's not a pouting lip. She measures atomic weight on the spot. She's not a mannequin posing in the window. She's not rose petals tossed from a basket. She's not the April swimsuit issue. No, she let the high beam on a quasar, like the speed of radio waves from cockpit to control tower, like the temperature nitrogen wants to freeze. She's not made of hoop skirt cake. Her hair isn't peanut butter curls. Her dimples aren't ginger cloves. No, she's like a volcano in a bottle, like mixing vinegar and bicarbonate, like a new place on the periodic table, like the element of surprise. But she's not the flavor of the day. She feeds herself on how to thrive. She's not hips swinging side to side. She's not a trophy in case. She's not a little woman or a big girl. No. She's like the green of photosynthesis, like a jet stream beginning to expand, like the first hour after the big bang. But she's not a notch on a belt. She's the ultimate hero, super keeper of the human race, quietly holding all generations inside her small, infinite space.